Oh, hi. You guys like a snack? Hi, Dr. William Lee here, physician, scientist, and author of the New York Times bestselling book, Eat to Beat Disease. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. That was Dr. William Lee, a distinguished medical doctor, researcher, and author renowned for his pioneering studies on the relationship between food, health, and disease prevention. Dr. Lee explores the concept of using food as a form of medicine, revealing how specific nutrients and compounds in food can activate the body's natural defense systems, bolster immunity, and potentially prevent and combat diseases like cancer. In today's video, we'll be sharing recipes for anti-cancer snacks inspired by Dr. Lee's research. These recipes are designed to be both nutritious and easy to prepare, incorporating ingredients that Dr. Lee has identified as beneficial for their anti-cancer properties. Many of these snacks can be prepared ahead of time, offering convenient options for quick and healthful snacking throughout your day. Join us as we explore the science behind these recipes and tips to discover how making simple dietary choices can support your health and well-being. Now, Dr. Lee will talk about several of the ingredients in our first anti-cancer snack recipe. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Healthy, organic snacks. Look what I found here. I found some roasted almonds. Another great choice for your metabolism. Pro tip. Soak almonds overnight to enhance their digestibility and nutrient absorption. You guys, some, some of you have seen these. These are the walnuts. Walnuts are some of my favorite. Walnuts have actually been shown to improve your immune system by activating, feeding your gut microbiome. And when that actually happens, it actually makes your body respond better to uh, medi medicines. Specifically, the study was done in patients with colon cancer, stage three colon cancer, getting regular cancer treatment, um, including nuts in their diet, actually lowered their mortality by more than 50%. So here's an example of something that your doctor's not gonna prescribe, but that I would actually encourage you to eat if you're battling cancer, feed your gut, improve your immune system, help your immune, your own bodies to help defenses fight disease. And of course, a uh, good healthy immune system also prevents diseases uh, as well. Quick tip, toast walnuts lightly before using them in recipes to enhance their flavor and crunchiness. Now I'm going to throw one last kind of delight and surprise that can help your stem cells, which help to rebuild your brain and your heart and your muscles, actually is dark chocolate. Turns out chocolate's a candy, okay, it's a confection. But to make dark chocolate, you have high amounts, 70%, 80%, 90% cacao. Cacao is actually from a seed pod, the cacao plant, and that's a plant-based food. It turns out there's natural chemicals, bioactives in cacao made in dark chocolate at high concentrations that help our stem cells come out and rebuild our muscles, our circulation, many other parts that need to be renewed. And as we get older, one of the things we want to do is we want to continuously be renewed rather than broken down. These are some of the ways that we think about diet and longevity. Here's a quick tip. When melting dark chocolate, Use low heat and stir frequently to prevent burning and ensure a smooth texture for your recipes. Now, get ready for our first simple snack recipe that highlights ingredients renowned for their cancer-fighting properties. Dark chocolate and nut power bites. This recipe is perfect for prepping ahead of time, ensuring you always have a quick and easy grab and go snack on hand. Start by taking pitted dates and slicing them partially open. Add a dollop of nut butter, such as almond butter, and some chopped walnuts inside each date. Dip them in melted dark chocolate and enjoy in moderation. Would you care for a snack? Next, Dr. Lee will share insights about a key ingredient in our upcoming anti-cancer snack recipe, highlighting its beneficial properties for fighting and preventing cancer. There is a uh, uh, potato. Most people don't think there's that many nutrients in potatoes. But a purple potato was once that was once considered ink and gold, you know, like it, it was because so, it came out of um, uh, Latin America. Beautiful potato. You cut them in half. They're kind of dark and bluey and you know, dusky colored on the outside. When you open them up and show them, man, they're like this beautiful, dark. They look like blueberries. And then if you refrigerate them in, in cold, you actually change the, 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 the dye it suddenly turns bright purple. 
So you want to see an amazing explosion of color. Take a purple potato, cut it in half, um, and, and put it in a refrigerator, and it'll just light up for you. Um, uh, turns out that that dark purple comes from a natural dye called anthocyanin. By the way, the same dye that's in a blueberry, as a matter of fact. But that uh, purple potato has been shown, whether you bake them, whether you make them into chips, whether you eat them raw, um, no matter what you do to uh, whether you mash them, they target cancer stem cells, which is amazing. So um, colon cancer stem cells is where they've been studied. These are little tiny baby stem cells that make cancers come back. That's the one kind of like the one nightmare for cancer patients is like once you got it treated, if it comes back, cancer stem cells do that. Now we're finding foods that can actually build up your good healthy system, your immune system. But at the same time, uh, as a fringe benefit, it can actually kill cancer stem cells as well. Quick tip, roast or bake purple potatoes with their skin on to retain their vibrant color and maximize their antioxidant content. Next up, we're diving into our latest easy snack recipe, featuring ingredients known for their powerful anti-cancer properties. Stuffed purple potato with a crunchy twist. This is another snack you can prepare ahead of time and warm up when you need a quick bite. Bake a small purple potato until tender. Mash the purple potato with a touch of olive oil and chopped fresh thyme. Stuff the mixture back into the potato skin. Top with chopped capers and chopped macadamia nuts for a satisfying crunch. Enjoy this delicious and convenient snack anytime. Coming up next, stay tuned as Dr. Lee sheds light on a vital ingredient featured in our latest anti-cancer snack recipe, providing expert guidance on its health-boosting properties. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I want to show you a fruit that is worth knowing about. These are plums. Look, there's a whole basket of them. Now, plums have a bioactive called ferulic acid. Ferulic acid improves your circulation, and studies in the lab have shown that it actually decreases neurodegeneration, which can actually improve cognition. Here's a quick tip. To ripen plums faster, place them in a paper bag at room temperature with a ripe banana or apple for a day or two. When we feed our gut bacteria with healthy foods that they like, like dietary fiber, our bacteria make our immune system perform better. And nowhere is this more important than when you're actually fighting cancer. A healthy immune system is critical for beating cancer. A study of 800 people with stage three colon cancer getting treatment with chemotherapy found that those patients who are eating two handfuls of tree nuts a week, almonds, pistachios, walnuts, cashews, macadamia, pine nuts, they actually had a 50% decrease in the risk of mortality. The fiber from the nuts feeds the microbiome, which improves immunity, which tips the scales against cancer. Trail mix tip. To enhance flavor, lightly toast the nuts and seeds before mixing them with dried fruits for a deliciously crunchy and satisfying snack. Now, Let's introduce our next easy snack recipe featuring ingredients known for their anti-cancer properties. Powerhouse Mix This snack mix combines a variety of nuts and dried fruits that have been proven in studies to help reduce and even kill cancer cells. To create this delicious and nutritious anti-cancer snack, mix together your favorite nuts from this list. Walnuts, almonds, pecans, Brazil nuts, hazelnuts, and pistachios. Then, add your favorite dried fruits from the following. Dried apricots, dried figs, dried prunes plums, raisins, dried goji berries, dried cranberries, dried blueberries, and dried cherries. Optionally, include dark chocolate chips for extra flavor. Simply combine all ingredients in a large bowl, mix well, and enjoy your powerhouse mix as a healthy and cancer-fighting snack. Anybody like a medium snack? Now. Dr. Lee will discuss a key ingredient in our upcoming anti-cancer snack recipe, offering valuable insights into its health benefits. Matcha, which is the whole leaf of green tea powdered up, has been found by researchers to kill breast cancer stem cells. Quite amazing. Um, those are the baby cells that help, that help the cancer keep coming back. Um, but does so much other as well as so anti-inflammatory, good for uh, uh, psoriasis and lower stress as well. Here's a handy tip. When preparing matcha green tea, whisk it in a zigzag motion to achieve a smooth and frothy texture. Hello everyone, Dr. Will Lee here. What if I told you that you probably have a powerful ingredient for burning fat and improving your metabolism in your pantry right now? I'm talking about cinnamon. 
And you probably think about cinnamon as a powder that you sprinkle on top of hot apple cider or an apple pie. But cinnamon is actually the bark of a tree and it comes rolled up in a stick called a quill. Cinnamon has more than 20 different bioactives that can influence your metabolism. And one of them is called cinnamaldehyde, which can trigger your brain to release a hormone that fires up your brown fat. And this can improve your metabolism. A clinical study from India showed that cinnamon can improve blood glucose, shrink waist size, and even reverse metabolic syndrome. What's the dose? The researchers showed that the effects were seen with just half a teaspoon of cinnamon per day. Here's an important tip. Salon cinnamon, unlike other types like cassia, is sweeter and milder in flavor, making it ideal for adding to dishes without overpowering other flavors. Hey there, Dr. Will Lee, and I have got one of my favorite fruits I want you to know about. You will recognize it, most of you. This is a pomegranate. This is a pomegranate, it's actually a fruit from Asia. And inside this are a bunch of these ruby red seeds with juices. This really juicy uh, little seeds. So you can put them in salads. Um, you can actually juice them as well. Uh, and um, here's what's in the juice. It's got something called elagitanins. These are bioactives that can do a lot of great things. One of the things they do is actually they can cut off the blood supply to tumors so they can starve cancer by cutting off the blood supply. But the other thing that they do is they improve your gut health by helping to grow a bacteria called Acromancia. This is a guardian of the gut and garden of health, and it actually comes from the pomegranate. So don't be afraid to pick one of these things up and eat the seeds and juice them if you dare. Here's a helpful tip to easily peel a pomegranate. Score the skin around the fruit, submerge it in a bowl of water, and gently break it apart under the water to release the seeds. Hey, Dr. Will Lee here. I'm in the produce section again, and I'm in front of a whole bunch of apples and pears. Look, I love apples. You've heard of the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away? Well, this apple actually gets this doctor right here to actually pick some up because I love their crispy, sweet taste. Now, what's in an apple that's good for you? Chlorogenic acid. Chlorogenic acid lights up your metabolism by burning down harmful body fat. In the skin of an apple, by the way, is something called elagic acid. And you gotta wash it really well anyway, but if you want one that doesn't have pesticides, get an organic apple, which will have more elagic acid in the skin. Guess what that does? That protects your stem cells and lights up your metabolism. One more apple fact. Apples are one of the highest sources of a natural bioactive called procyanidins. Procyanidins light up your brown fat to burn down harmful fat again good for your metabolism three ways and also helps protect your stem cells to help regenerate your body from the inside out. What's not to like about this? Go for an apple a day. Here's a useful tip. When slicing apples for salads or snacks, coat them lightly with lemon juice to prevent browning and add a hint of tangy flavor. Now, let's unveil our final easy snack recipe, spotlighting ingredients known to combat cancer cells. Energizing afternoon tea. Brew a cup of matcha green tea. In a small bowl, add a chopped small apple, a splash of pomegranate juice, and a dash of salon cinnamon. Optionally, warm it up. Enjoy this refreshing and cancer-fighting snack in the afternoon. Please give us a thumbs up, share this video with your friends and family, and subscribe for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.